So a school played The Lion King at a fundraising event, and now it has to pay one-third of what it raised to Disney's licensing department. An elementary school in Berkeley, California, hosted a Parents' Night Out fundraiser. They didn't think that playing the 2019 remake of The Lion King would do anything besides keep the kids happy. Oh, they played the remake? Ugh, should have played the original. That was until Emerson Elementary School received an email from a licensing company on Thursday, more than two months after the event, saying they had to pay $250 for illegally screening the movie. What? One of the dads bought the movie at Best Buy. He owned it. We literally had no idea we were breaking any rules. Fuck off, Disney. If kids cannot watch your movies without a license, what are you doing? I wonder if that would have counted if they played the old one. So the article continues, while the school doesn't know how exactly the company discovered the movie was played, Rose said the school's PTA, Parent Teacher Association, will somewhat begrudgingly cover the cost of the screening. Ugh, they should take that to court. I wish they would. An email sent to the school by Movie Licensing USA informed Emerson faculty that the company had received an alert, an alert, that The Lion King was screened during an event on November 15th. Movie Licensing USA manages licensing for Disney and other major studios, and since the school does not have a license with the company, it's been asked to pay $250 for the screening and $250 per showing of the movie at any future event at the school. It's not even a one-time fee you have to pay each time. Fuck off. Anytime a movie is shown outside of the home, legal permission is needed to show it, Anytime a movie is shown outside of the home, legal permission is needed to show it, as it is considered a public performance. Wow. What if I'm watching it outside in the woods on, like, a portable DVD player? Anytime movies are shown without the proper license, copyright law is violated and the entity showing the movie can be fined by the studios. If a movie is shown for any entertainment reason, even in the classroom, it is required by law that the school obtains a public performance license. Okay, Disney, you're assholes, and I guess kids don't need to watch your shitty rebooted movies, do they? And who the hell is going around tattling on this anyway? Ugh disgusting people. Of course, this would be California that this happens in. Somebody at the parent-teacher association meeting probably knows somebody who works with Disney licensing or something. You have to be a petty little C-U-N-T to report this. And you have to be in the know-how to even know that they did anything wrong to report it. Probably somebody that gets commissions for reporting this stuff or something. Who knows? Movie Licensing USA did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Some parents are upset about the fine. You don't say. Rules are rules, and people who break them must face the consequences. But when it comes to this $250 movie screening fee, the issue goes much deeper than just licensing. Berkeley City Council member Lori Drost, who is also a parent at Emerson, at Emerson Elementary, believes Disney is being unfair. There was an initiative passed in 1979 called Proposition 13, which casts the property tax on all land. And so Disney's property tax rates are at 1978 values, which translates into millions upon millions a year that Disney is not paying. Because of that, our schools are now extremely underfunded, she added. We went from the 70s being among the top education systems in the U.S. to one of the lowest. And there is a link in this to a fundraiser where you can donate to the school, which you can find in the article link, which will be in the description below. It's just so appalling that an incredibly wealthy corporation is having its licensing agents chase after a parent-teacher association, having to raise insane amounts of money just to pay teachers, cover financial scholarships, and manage school programs. Disney did not respond to CNN's request for comment. Disney did not respond to CNN about this, really. But making exceptions for schools, you goddamn assholes. When the school raised $800 at the fundraising event, oh, that's such a pitiful amount, how sad. It's now scrambling to cover the $250 cost of the movie screening. 
We would be enthusiastic about paying the license fee if Disney was willing to have their properties reassessed and pay some additional property taxes. Ooh, burn. Hey, Disney, don't be evil. You guys are assholes. You make movies for children, for children. You should be happy that people want to play your shitty reboot of The Lion King. They don't even realize they should have been watching the original one, not the creepy new one. You make that for kids. They play it for kids. And you want to charge them every single time there's a group of kids watching this outside of a home. No. Schools should automatically be exempt from that. Shame on you, Disney. Shame on you, Movie Licensing USA. You're jerks. Disney's jerks. And that's about all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Meow.